Uh, I'll just sit on this jock strap here, shall I? <laughs> <laughs> well, you want this one as well? For, or? Your, own, for your own safety. <laughs> what I love about Briefs, Briefs Factory, but Briefs in particular, and The Voice is just that there's real heart in the work. Yeah. Heart and politics. Yeah, yeah. It's not, it's not kind of uh, sledgehammer politics. Yeah. No, at times, you know, you say it really clearly about what's important to you. Yeah. What I love is you, you, you demonstrate it. Yeah, we've we've had some really amazing feedback while we've been here. Mm. Uh, even just getting really specific about addressing some of the stuff that's happened here in Sydney. <clears throat> There's some people that have come out and just been really responsive. And we've had some amazing reviews that have totally got it. Yeah. Like, uh, you know, just talking about how we've converted the tent into a mothership. Mm. And for that 70, 75 minutes that we're in the, in the tent, they were like, thanks for the safety and actually mm-hmm. actually being able to undo our seatbelts and actually feel really safe and and even if it is a moment a moment in time and even if that sense of belief that suspension only happens then you walk outside uh, and this lady was saying my friend and I had an argument about whether or not we continue the safety or whether or not coming outside you get angry or whether or not you come outside with your chest puffed yeah yeah and one of they did they did opposite things and, 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 it's, and it's great. And it's like the fact that they even had a conversation and we're, yeah. we're talking all the way back to the car park, standing out the front, dissecting each other. It was like from the beginning, from taking it from a warehouse party to a Sydney Festival Hyde Park. Spiegel tent season is about keeping the, the, the spirit of, and, the, and yeah, the energy of those original club nights that had a really raw, mm. rough and tumble and a anar- certain anarchy to it, but uh, like you say, a certain heart to it as well. well and I, I look at it and I think it's so important. Uh, because you're Australian, there's a real sense of it's an Australian voice and it feels like it's yeah. very important and, and, and comes from the, the, the politics and, and, and cultural milieu of Australia. Yeah. How does it work when the show's in, say, Germany or, or, or the companies in Germany or wherever they're going? Yeah, it's interesting. Is, does it translate in the same way? I'm interested. Our first gig in Germany, we thought that it was we didn't think it translated. We were there. We, we booked a eleven week run in Hamburg, and we went, "Oh no, it's not going to work. It's okay. We've only got eight hundred and seventy <laughs> shows together." <laughs> but we 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 figured out that it's not a, a you know it's about finding our people. It's yeah. about finding. It's you know one thing that I learned really early on that that really weird realization that it's not just about getting people into your show it's not just about selling tickets it's about being really explicit about what your show is mm-hmm. and it's like we need to be really clear it's circus it's drag it's burlesque it's comedy because this is a this is a great place to start a conversation the, the, the question for, for me is about will you be the center of the show forever no oh, yeah. <laughs>